The general chemistry labs at TCC are taught using argument-driven inquiry, a new and innovative instructional model that is designed to give students a more authentic science laboratory experience and to promote and support student learning. Rather than simply verifying known scientific values or concepts, students design their own experiments in order to answer a thought-provoking research question. All the labs require collaborative work, not only with students at the same table, but with other students in the class as well. This represents how science is really done, not in isolation, but as part of a team. In the scientific community, results from research are shared and evaluated by fellow researchers. In this way, results are validated through comparison, and differences are resolved in discussion with others. A version of this system is part of the ADI laboratory program as well. Finally, when a scientist submits written results to a journal for publication, the paper goes through extensive peer review and revision before it is finally published. To simulate this process, peer review and revision of lab reports are also part of this instructional model. There are seven steps to argument-driven inquiry that are intentionally designed to provide students with a richer and more genuine science laboratory experience. Step one, the research question. Each lab experiment will focus on answering a specific question, such as, are these objects made of the same material? What is the percent water in your compound? How could you prepare more of orange dye? Which salt will make the best cold pack? What is the product of the chemical reaction and how could you make more of it? Investigation and data collection are step two. For each experiment, students will have a list of materials and some general suggestions for how to start collecting data, but there are no detailed instructions to follow. It is up to each group of students to decide what to do and to coordinate their efforts so that everyone is involved. During this stage of the model, the goal of the lab instructor is to support students as they work instead of telling them what to do. Step three is creation of posters. Each group will produce a poster presenting their explanation or answer to the research question, along with their evidence and reasoning. This is not a detailed presentation of data, but a presentation of an argument, which is a conclusion supported with evidence. Step four is the argumentation session. Each group will leave one member at the table to present their argument, and the remaining group members will move around the room to other tables. At each table, the presenter will begin a discussion of the results with the visiting group. The students should compare results and question each other's findings and methods. Step 5 is creation of a lab report. The investigation report consists of three sections identified by the following questions. Section 1, what were you trying to explain and why? Section 2, how did you go about your work? and why did you conduct your investigation in this way? Section 3, what is your argument? The scoring rubric is used to assign points for each section of the lab report. Students should refer to this rubric as they write their lab report. Step 6 is the double blind peer review. Each student will bring four copies of a draft lab report to lab. The draft will be labeled with an assigned number, not the student's name. There are four copies for each member of the reviewing team. The reviewing team will read the draft report and collaborate in completing a peer review sheet. Reviewers should identify deficiencies in the lab report and make suggestions for improvement on the peer review sheet. All comments and corrections should be consolidated onto one copy of the draft report. Before each peer review session, the instructor will highlight key concepts that should be addressed in each of the three sections of the report. The final step is revision and submission of the final lab report. If a student's draft is accepted by the reviewing team, the student may submit it as is to the instructor. Most students choose to revise their draft based on the peer review suggestions and insight gained by reading other lab reports. The instructor will collect the final lab report, the peer review sheet, and the marked up copy of the draft lab report the following week. 
As shown in this video, the instructor will score the lab report using the scoring rubric. The instructor will also check the peer review to see if the reviewers noted deficiencies that were not addressed in the revision. After completing a semester of ADI instruction, students will have experience with investigation design, crafting an argument, group argumentation, and peer review and revision of written lab reports, all of which are important processes for their continued study of science.